Let's make some Valentine's toys for the cats. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Last year in Target, they had really cute little Valentine's toys for the cats. I got them all little chocolate covered strawberries. This year, I did not find any cute Valentine's toys for the cats in any of the stores. But I found these in Joann's. These are little felt shapes. It says 16 felt shapes and they're shaped like hearts. And the price on this was $3, but it was like half off. So I got them for $1.50. Let's open this up and let's take a look at the felt shapes. It comes with eight of these solid pieces of felt shaped like hearts. There's three pink, three red, and two white. It also comes with eight of these other hearts and these have like cutouts in them and I don't think these are gonna be good. I want to use the solid pieces and eight is perfect because I want to make four toys. So what I want to do is I want to take two of these felt hearts and I want to sew them together. I'll probably start here, work my way around and around, and I'm going to leave a little opening. I am going to fill it with catnip and then I am going to sew it up. So what we are going to have is like a little heart-shaped catnip toy. Here's what these heart-shaped catnip toys look like. I think they came out super cute. I just did a really simple in and out stitch all the way around them. I don't know the proper name for that stitch, um, but it was just like a really simple stitch. And the first one that I did, this is the first one, it came out kind of rough because I had not sewn anything in quite some time. So it took me a while to kind of get back into the swing of things. Um, but it still looks cute. And then as I did the second one, I just kind of got into a better system. I actually started at the tip and I went all the way around to about here. And then when I had the hole, I just took like a little, like a demi tasse spoon. And I took like three little spoonfuls of catnip and I put it inside. And then I just finished sewing it up. And then on the bottom, I just kind of uh, tied it off. Um, so it worked really well and it went really quick. I got all four of these done in less than an hour. So um, I think that's a good deal. I got four heart-shaped catnip toys done. It uh, cost me $1.50 um, needle thread and then some catnip that I had lying around. The catnip was probably from the Dollar Tree. It was like a dollar. So all totaled uh, these four uh, toys cost me two dollars and fifty cents and now here's what I really like about them what I really like about them is that I know exactly what's inside them I know it's just pure catnip whereas when I buy a toy in the store I never know exactly what's in it is it does it have catnip in it is it just infused with catnip um, is it catnip with other things like are there other additives like, you don't know, but with this, um, I know exactly what's in it. Now, Boo was kind of smelling the area when I was making these, and at a certain point, I had to, like, push him aside, and right now, he's in his room. Um, so, these must smell good to him. Uh, tomorrow, I will give these to the cats, and we will see how the cats like them. I think the cats are going to like them. I am going to be curious to see how the stitching holds up. Um because it is just a really simple stitch. I'm not sure how strong it is, so I'm just curious to see. So these are my DIY Valentine's Day catnip cat toys. Okay, so I'm here with Boo, Stella, and Simba, and I'm ready to give them their Valentine's Day treat. And Boo is not on his leash. He's just on his harness, and I'm hoping it goes well. Hey guys. Okay. Now, Stella is already wanting to eat one of the Valentine's Day presents. So, there's Boo and his Valentine's Day toy. Boo and his heart. There's Stella and her heart. To me, they almost look like cutout cookies for cats. You could see on Stella's, when the light shines through it, you could see the catnip inside. 
I don't know how well they're gonna hold up. I mean, it was just stitched together really basically. There's Simba. All of the cats are definitely enjoying these. I just hope the catnip doesn't make them crazy, you know? But I do really like the fact that I know what's in these toys. Like, I know how much catnip is in them and I know what kind of catnip is in them. And they were so easy to make and they were cheap to make. I mean, the fact that the felt already came pre-cut was a huge bonus, like a huge bonus. Go. I like how Splash is hugging his heart. Who's like done with his already? And Stella's starting to give him dirty looks. Stella was ready to pounce on Boo. And I know with the catnip, what what do I expect, right? I I know it's not a good thing to do. But they're going to go, Boo's going back in his room soon. And this is just a holiday treat. Okay guys. I just threw Boo's toy into his room and he could play with it here for a while. Well, he could play with it here the rest of the day. It's just that I have to get going. If I didn't have to leave, I could keep the cats out and keep watching them. It's just I'm ridiculously late today like usual. Okay, Boo, we're going to take the harness off, but you've been a good boy in your harness. Oh, he's, oh, he has big teeth. See how he's tearing that felt apart? I'm glad they're enjoying these toys. And they were easy to make, so. He's really trying to get to the catnip. He might have gotten some out. Did you get your catnip? You like your treat, Boo? Stella's sitting on top of her heart. I don't know if you could see it. It's right under her paws. Stella went back to sitting on top of her heart. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you. Fire!